so we're back, back on the farm, back and ready to kick some caboose. I've cleared up my inventory, mostly. Let's just get rid of some of this doit. And the jetpack is charging up in the old charging bay. Wrong chest for that one. There we go. Now we're not going to be flying around now, so I've uh, equipped my uh, chest piece. And there were elements of that build that were somewhat less than legit, but we can do everything that we did in... Uh, we can do everything that we did in the recording, but in the name of speeding things up, I used certain tools to make things look a lot quicker and make it a better video. So we're going to get rid of these fences because, well, I think we're pretty much done with gathering animals. The one thing we do need is chickens. I think a chicken coop is definitely something that's big on my list. But I really want to get to the point where I can uh, start actually sending food to the city. Now that we've got the infrastructure in place, we've got two train stations, one this side and one that side. Oh man, I just love seeing that clock tower over there in the distance. I might actually put an extra layer of uh, shingle roofing on top of that so that it leans out a bit more because it looks, I'm not sure about, I'm not sure about the look of that. Let me know how you, what you think in the comment section about those shingles and the rooftop on that clock tower. Right, so how do you work Steve's carts? So if we go to at Steve, and this is it. It can't be that tricky because Steve's Carts literally only has one page of things. Now, if I remember rightly, I've done Steve's Carts before, so I know exactly, well not exactly, but I have a good idea, roughly, about how it works. The first thing we're going to need is a cart assembler. That actually builds carts. We're going to need a cargo manager either side. That's what a minecart interacts with to let it know, hey, yeah, pick up this. I've got loads of carrots here, ready to go. Off you go, in the cart. A liquid manager lets you send liquids over. And that could be a good idea if we're sending over milk. However, what I'd like to do is bottle the milk this side at the farm and send over bottles of milk. Although milk is more of an ingredient than something that the city's gonna want. But definitely when we get some restaurants over there, they're gonna want the material shipped and that might be best in bottled milk form. An external distributor? I have no idea what that is. And a module toggler? I have no idea what that is either. But it looks like it's something that toggles modules on a cart as it goes through. So what else? Detect a unit, detect a station, detect a junction, detect a redstone unit? Ooh. So we can actually, what we can do is we can have each station can have a specific name and so we can tell cart A, go this way, drop off carrots at the Chili Wawa station. Then go drop off some lettuce at the Lewis's Vegetarian Restaurant section. And that's a good idea, actually. But it all starts with rails, because the carts need something to go on. And luckily enough, you don't need to use any special Steve's Carts rails. Steve's Carts does have some special rails that help it interact with the mod, like detector rails or junction rails. But for the most part, rails from other mods will work fine. In fact, a basic Minecraft rail is perfect. So we're going to need loads and loads of iron and sticks to make rails. That's something that we gotta, we've got to focus on later. And in fact, actually, we'll need so much iron, I think that might be an opportunity to use the excavator from Immersive Engineering. But for the time being, let's take a look at making a cart assembler. So here we go, a cart assembler looks pretty simple so far. Three iron ingots, smooth stone, which we have, I think, a PCB, which is literally just iron, gold, and redstone. Super simple, got everything I need pretty close to hand. So we need two of these. And now let's go get the stone. Oh yes, four should do it. Now is it smooth stone, does this work? Looks like that's the right stuff. Yeah, it is. Bam! A cart assembler. Now, I'm, I'm somewhat sure that a cart assembler needs power. So, for the time being, let's move this torch into the corner. Or maybe up here, maybe? Yeah, that looks good. And let's throw down the cart assembler here. Information. Cart assembler. Oh my god. To start making a cart, please add a cart of your choice to the hull slot. This looks pretty complicated. Now, I've done this before, so I have a loose idea of what I'm doing. I'm not sure if this needs power, but we'll plug it in just in case. When you right-click on it, it doesn't, have a, doesn't look like it's got any 
power requirements. It might be that you have to actually put just raw coal in here. But let's just go through the steps of making our first cart. To start making a cart, please add a cart hull of your choice to the hull slot. So Steve's carts. So a standard hull is probably where well, we can have a wooden hull, which looks cheap as balls. But a standard hull doesn't look like it's that much harder to make. We'll need some iron wheels and some sticks. Simple. Well, in that case, what's a reinforced hull like? Because it says it can have five engines instead of three. And a modular capacity of 500 instead of 200. 12 add-ons instead of six. It's basically more than twice as good. But it requires reinforced metal. You smelt stabilized metal. And stabilized metal is crafted. Oh my god. This is worse than Galgadorian. A hardened mesh, iron bars, and refined hardener. We need raw hardener, which is just a diamond and obsidian. Just a diamond and obsidian. That this actually doesn't seem too bad so far. Mechanical pig. What's this? This is only slightly worse than an iron engine. And we just use raw pork chops and iron wheels. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I want to try making... I want to try making a mechanical pig. If that's a hull, I hope it looks like a pig as well. So we need raw pork chops and some iron wheels. No sweat. Now, we don't have pigs on the farm. We've got sheep and we got cows because those have... Well, we had cows. They're all gone. Oh, no. But sheep get us wool. That's handy. Cows get us leather. That's also handy. Pigs, on the other hand, they don't really have a, a real... a real bonus other than they taste great bacon one of the best but certainly when we build a meat factory which we're gonna do it's high up on the list pigs are definitely something we should chuck in a crusher to get some pig meat ho 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 we are double lucky looks like we found some gooseberries but also I heard a pig squeak just now so let's go and find that son of a gun oh and cherries as well Look, there he is! Hello, my precious. My precious little pig. Come here. I just want your meat. Just your meat, nothing else. I haven't got my cleaver with me. I didn't bring any food either. That's three pork chops, so one more pig should do it. Right, here we are. Let's make ourselves the wheels and the pig car. Got some iron ingots, a block. It becomes iron also. Let's make some wheels. Some wheels, you know. We only need two sets of wheels. There they go! Iron wheels! So we put the pig meat up there. Wait. Oh, we need a fifth pork chop! Let's go get it. Okay, we return to base with a little bit more pork. Two wheels, better than one. Bam, mechanical pig! I can't wait to see this made. So simple enough. Put the pig cart in. Oh, ho, 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 yes! This looks amazing! Yes! I want all of my trains to look like this. Now, we put an engine in. So there's engines that make the cart go, I suppose. A tool, which we probably won't need. This is literally going to be a transport cart. And since it looks like a pig, this can be the meat. The meat train. So let's take a look inside Steve's carts at what we're doing. So we want internal storage, probably. Modular cost. Oh, right, so everything has a modular cost, and a pig cart has a maximum of 50 complexity and 150 hull. I don't know what that means. Module complexity cap, modular capacity, 150. So we can have 150 worth of mods. And we literally just want this to be a delivery cart that delivers, uh, delivers meat. So boom, 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 we'll make some chests. Now, internal storage, it, look like, it looks like, has uh, quite a high storage cost. Chest pane. These all look pretty simple to make. And a chest lock, which is iron and stone. Super simple. Let's make some chest panes. This is where all this fir wood comes in handy. I think two stacks of these should be just enough for us. Oh, wait, hang on a sec, what? There's different sizes of chest pains. 
You're kidding me. Chest pains and large chest pains. Oh, but they're just four chest pains, so we might need, actually, even more of these than I first thought. Sixteen of these should be fine. Man, this is actually quite efficient. So we want internal storage. Bam. We'll make a couple of these, because that could come in handy in the future. We want a front chest. So we want large, large chest pains. It's like heart attack material. There we go. Boom. A front chest. Need a couple of those. Might as well make a couple. We'll make a top chest. Whoa, a huge chest pain. And that's top chest. Perfect. And side chest. Side chest look pretty badass. And way more of these uh, chest pains. Perfect. Side chests. So we've got lots and lots of chest capacity here. Now we need an engine. Something to make the cart go. Let's take a second just to look at all these modules. A tree tap module. Color randomizer. A cake server. One year in alpha. Creative supplies. Creative incinerator. Experience bank for storing experience. Information provider. Hmm, wonder what that does. Advanced smelter. So you can smelt on the go. Advanced crafter. Smelter. Plant range extender. So you can use Steve's carts for farming, and that might be quite cool. A crafter. A milker! Oh, actually, we should use Steve's carts to milk a whole bunch of cows. This sounds like this is what we want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lawnmower. Galgadorian farmer. Galgadorian. I never want to hear that name again. Ore extractor. Enchanter. Galgadorian hull. No, thank you. Galgadorian woodcutter. Steve's Arcade. What does that even mean? Power Observer. Open Tanks. Tanks for Tanks for Stuff. A Liquid Cleaner. Advanced Thermal Engine. Thermal Engine. Compact Solar Engine. Now, engines... Hmm. The problem with the solar engine will be that half the time this cart's going to be underground. We've got a big tunnel and there's no light in there, so that's going to be bad news for a uh, solar engine. What do you say we put a coal engine in here, just to get the ball rolling? I'm not sure how much coal it will use, but just like in uh, Druids Downtown, we can set up a coal refilling station that will refill our carts with extra coal. And there it is, the coal engine. Pretty simple to make as well. Pistons, furnaces. Let's do it. Let's get some more iron. And make a coal engine and start building this car. We'll just dump some of these chest pains before I, they start giving me chest pains. Two of those. Uh, furnace. Blam. Iron ingots. And that's a coal engine. So let's see. We've got mod we've got chests and we've got a coal engine. Let's see if there's anything else we need for this cart. Now I hope it's big enough for a coal engine. Yes it is. We'll want side chests. Oh look, this pig is ready to fly. A top chest. Internal storage. And a front chest. Ah! Now the front chest clashes with uh, the cost, but luckily it also makes the pig's face look pretty bad. So we'll get rid of that. We could perhaps put another internal storage in here. Looks pretty good to me. So what are the Steve's cards attachments? I guess that's just things like it's... Oh, right, so it says type underneath what you're looking at. So a hydrator is an attachment, but a woodcutter is a tool. A torch placer. Blade arms. Shattered blade arms. Break handle? <laughs> what? A seat? Oh, okay. So we're going to make a seat just because I want to I want to ride this cart. I want to ride it all the way to the city. So we'll put the seat on top. Seat and top chest will clash at the top. Well, I guess we don't have the space for the top chest then, because I want to ride the flying pig. I wish you could give it a name. You can't give it a name. Okay, this all looks pretty good. So, let's assemble. So here we go. This is this is the meat of it. So, it's making the cart, but we need fuel in there. It won't do anything until we start putting in some fuel. Now, I don't have much coal on me. Maybe I could borrow some from the heat generator. So the jetpack's halfway. 
No. No. Man, okay. So maybe Steve's car has a custom type of fuel. So to assemble the car, you need to put coal in, but it looks like coal blocks don't count. So we'll have to turn this into normal coal. In you go. Fuel's at maximum. The assembler is currently idle. What are you talking about? Oh, it's instant. We have a cart. Oh man, so I'm gonna plunk this down. Now you don't need a railway, I think, to put a cart down. Oh, no, looks like you do. Boom! Well, we've done it. We've got the assembled modular cart. We can start putting this on a railway next episode. If we actually can get enough rail, because it's a long way to the city. And that's going to require a lot of iron rails and a lot of iron. So stay tuned for that. I've been Stjin. Thank you for watching Feed the City. I'm not sure what we're going to do next episode, but stay tuned because I'm sure it'll be something pretty exciting. Until then, take care.